After the USDA's January supply and demand reports, ag markets took a bearish tone. Many expected this might be the beginning of the end for high grain prices, good or bad, depending on which end of the food chain you're on. This morning, Al Pell talks to one trader who says, hold on. Gentlemen. Mike Flores, Flores Trading is here at our agribusiness desk. Mike, let's talk a little bit about the corn market because I know you've been watching it very closely. Yeah, we're, we're in a big trading range from, from about eight, uh, 580 to about 680. We've been there since October and uh, we're on the, kind of on the low end of it now, so I really only want to be looking at, at buying it. Um, you know, this time last year, I, I find this interesting, we were, a year ago today we were trading at 650 March corn. And right now we're trading at about 605, 610. Uh, according to the USDA, we have 283 million bushels less of corn now than a year ago. So we're sitting at a lower price with lower stocks, and that makes no sense to me whatsoever. I, I think that the market has essentially lost sight of how little corn we really have in this country. It used to be that when we had a billion bushel carryout, that was kind of a worrisome level. Now we're sitting at 850 million. Most analysts think it's probably closer to 750. And that's evidenced by how strong your basis is. You know, as, as producers, they all know, guys have been wanting to buy their corn for a long time at really good prices. So that says something about the market. Uh, you know, we were supposed to have a big South American push in, in production right. this year to help world stocks. Well, that doesn't look like that's going to happen. They've had a drought, and they're probably going to knock off somewhere around 20% of anticipated uh, production. So we're going to come into this growing season with really, really low stocks in U.S. corn. And, and we have the promise that we're going to plant all these acres. Whether we do or not, I really don't have any idea. But uh, the point is the market being at the lows here and so much can go wrong between now and planting season, I think if there's a dollar move in the market, it's much more likely to be to the upside than the downside, it's just because of the uncertainty is going forward. So uh, I only want to be a buyer here. Uh, I'm really interested in uh, buying futures on 10, 15 cent breaks, uh, looking at maybe buying May, uh, 630 calls, I think that's an attractive okay. vehicle. And I, I really like the, uh, the corn spread of buying July selling December corn. If the market goes up, that spread tends to widen up. Uh, it's at a pretty low level now. I think we could, over the next two months, we could probably have a 30, 40 cent rally in that spread. So uh, if I'm a producer, I don't think I'd be selling any, any pricing any corn yet. I think it's just way too early. Okay, thank you very much. Mike Flores has been our guest this morning here on Ag Day. Back with more in a moment. For a free two-week trial to Mike's trading recommendations, call Flores Trading at 800-841-2108.